this morning, I thought about Popeye. You know, uh, Popeye would eat his spinach. Yeah. You know, and then he'd get strong. Whenever there was something, uh, he had an issue. Amen. So you, you won't hear me talk about this again. Amen. But when he had an issue, you know, uh, the, his, his adversary would come against him. You know, uh, there was opposition in his life. He would go to his spinach and he would eat his spinach. Man. You know, then he'd get strong. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden he was able to, to, to take on anything. You know, well, uh, the mo uh, uh, Yahushua, Yahushua said, Jesus said, man should not live by bread alone, Amen. but by every word that yes. proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Yes, yes. You know, uh, out of our most high Elohim. You know, so we have to learn instead of eating spinach, we eat the word. Amen. Amen. We don't live off bread, but we eat the word. Amen. And I, I'm, I tell you the truth. When I, whenever I eat the word, uh, I, I, I feel strong. Amen. It does something to me. You know, I understand Popeye because if I go to sleep eating the word, you know, I wake up feeling stronger. We uh, we often go to sleep uh, listening to the word. Amen. When I go to sleep listening to the word, I wake up feeling powerful. I feel strong. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I get on my knees and I uh, I go to him and then I open, open up my, my book, open up his word, and I start to eat up his word, you know, for my breakfast. You know, I feel strong. And man, it does something to me, you know, and it, and it will do something to you if you, we have to learn how to eat his word. Amen. And, and see, the problem is sometimes it can be boring or it can be just a task when you don't know how to eat his word. Amen. You know what you like for yeah. breakfast. You know what you like for dinner. Yeah. You know, so go to those things that's going, that you like. Go to the scriptures, go to the chapters that you like. Eat of those things. Yeah. You know, if there's a... a, a uh, a question you have, ask of him. You know, ask him to guide to lead you to it. You know, because everything is in the word. He is the answer. You can find the answer to your whole life, to every problem inside of his word. Amen. Amen. And then all you have to do is just open it up. Amen. Open it up. It, it is him speaking to you. Yes. It is him speaking to us. So we just open it up. Yes, sir. And then he will speak to you. You know, whatever it is that you need, you can find it in him. You know, but see, we we fail to go to him. You know, we want to go to everyone else. We want to, uh, th this is a world where they want to go to psychologists. They want to uh, find counselors and seek, seek all kinds of, they want to seek the help of man instead of going to the help of our father. Oh my God. I mean, when you turn to the help of your father, then he has all the answers for you. Yes, brother. You know, I wake, uh, like I said, t today I felt strong. I felt strong this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I, yes. uh, there was a time in my life when I was younger uh, I tell you the truth, there was a time when, in my life when I was uh, uh, becoming a young man, I was probably about 19, uh, I felt like nobody could work. I was into all kinds of stuff and I felt like nobody could, I felt powerful. You know, then as I grew older, age got hold of me. You know, and then I started to feel weak. You know, I started to feel weaker, but I, at that point, I felt, I didn't care. I felt, uh, to be honest, I felt like I was the perfect height. You know, I was into martial arts and different things. Uh, some of you might not know that, but I felt like I was the perfect height uh, for different things uh, to do what I wanted to do. You know, I studied how to uh, how to fight. I studied how to defend myself. You know, not just in, in practicing martial arts, but I actually would uh, meditated on those things. I would have books, going to books. You know, I was constantly watching uh, I would watch things on uh, videos and different things, and I would actually study uh, how to how, how they did things. And uh, I would just the way that I see uh, my children studying uh, instruments, piano. My daughter studied uh, 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 how to do flips and uh, different things. You know, um, gymnastics. You know, she wasn't taught. I was I, I was learning these things. I was studying it. I, I felt like I could do anything that I could see anybody else do. You know, I felt like, like I said, I felt un, like I, no, unstoppable. Yeah. You know, but I find that in the word yeah. today. Because this body, <laughs> I didn't age. You all see the greatness. You see that uh, I'm not as healthy as I used to be. You know, but this body has been through some things. But but with, with the, uh, as I look into the book, as I read read this book, it makes it it makes up for the outside. You know, and, and see the the I, I tell you the truth. You know, you will find power inside of His Word that will uh, proceed the inside, and it will work on the outside. 
You know, so it will make up the difference if, 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 if some, someone foolish came against me and my family, came against you all, you know, in a physical way, they're going to find out that I'm even more powerful now. Amen. And, and I'm not by myself. Amen. Amen. I'm not by myself. Amen. We, we, we have an army in here. We have some generals in here. Amen. So I'm not by myself. Amen. I, I, I know this one got my back. Amen. So uh, I praise the Lord for you all, but you will find power inside of his word. And it proceeds the inside. It's not just from the inside, but learn, look, read, even for the children, find something that you like. You know, find something uh, that's interesting to you and read it. You know, read those books. You know, learn about the prophets. Learn about the warriors. Learn about David. Learn about Samson. Learn about, mostly learn about Christ. Amen. Learn about Hamashiach. Learn about Jesus. Learn about Yahushua. Learn about who he is and who he was, you know, and who he is today. Amen. Because he never changed. Yes, sir. You know, he never changed. He's, a, he, he's the one that I, I like to quote how he said, what I say unto one, I say unto all. Yes, you know, he would, what he was saying to those that was around him, that verbally heard him, he was saying to us also. Yeah. He said, what I say to one. So anything that we see written, uh, uh, that it, when he was speaking to Peter, he was saying it to us. When he was speaking to John, he was saying it to us. You know, he said, what I say to one, even to one, I say unto all. Yes, sir. You know, so he would... Uh, he was he was talking to us all. This word wasn't just for them; Amen. it was for us. Amen. We have to learn how to eat it, read it, study it, keep it, hide it, protect it inside you. It's like I told you a couple of weeks ago. As soon as you hear the word, the enemy will come and try to snatch that from you. You got to protect it. You have to remember what you what you heard, remember what you read, because he will snatch it from you. And a lot of times we allow him to do it. We just say, here here it go. You know, let me hear what you have to say. You know, what, what do you have to say, enemy, on the matter? What do you have to say, devil, on the matter? Tell me, I know what the Most High didn't told me, you know, but what do you have to say on the matter? You know, and then we yield our ear to him. Uh, and you see, that happens whenever we get the word, and then we start running around because I need a confirmation from somebody else. But I know that the, the Ruach, the, his spirit inside of me, then already confirmed the word. But now I need to hear it from someone else because every time I hear it, uh, it, it makes me feel better. Or every time I talk about my, my problem, my situation, I love the message that a uh, missionary uh, gave a couple of weeks ago. We can keep things alive. Yeah. You know, we can keep watering things, you know, our hurt, our pain, you know, instead of just moving on. Yeah. You know, it's the, uh, Peter rehearsed uh, what he had to say. He rehearsed. Uh, he wanted to bring. He needed to bring a sermon. He needed to teach and preach to people, but he rehearsed it. Rehearsed the good things. Rehearsed. Uh, talk about those good things. You know the uh, the thing that's going to build you up. That's going to edify you. That's going to edify your brothers and your sisters. That's going to edify our church. Dwell on those things. Meditate on them. Yeah. You know, don't just wake up in the morning with something evil in your mind or or how the the, the devil done did you. You know how he done ran you over. Uh, two years ago, but you still holding on it today, Man. you know, Man. because he done did this, he done put his foot on it, and your pain, when, when we come to uh, to Christ, to Amashiach, we're supposed to be healed, Man. you know, he, he heals us of all those things, you know, Man. we don't hold grudges, we don't hold issues, you know, we're supposed to let everything go, Man. you know, we're supposed to be a new creature inside of him, Man. you know, we let it all go. You know, and so if you still have an issue, it's because you still hold on to it. You know, are you supposed to allow him to take that from you? Amen. He said, come as you are. That wasn't just a meeting on the outside, you know. That meant all your hurt, your pain, you know, uh, like, like the uh, preacher was saying today, we ain't perfect. And we'll never be perfect. Amen. He makes up our perfection. He's the one that bridges the gap. You know, so when he comes into our life, he, he, he he's the one that makes us perfect. You know, because we're covered with his blood. Amen. Then our father can look down and say, okay, they look perfect. Amen. They, they perfectly Amen. accepted my son. They're perfect to me. Amen. That's all we have to do. But if you don't accept him, you only accept part of him. Or just uh, be like, um, uh, you don't you don't want to be cleaned uh, with his blood. You, you want to hold on to some issues. You know, then he, 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 he will see that. Because either he's going to wash you all or he ain't going to wash you at all. 
you know, because he's not, he don't do anything partially. You know, he's not going to do anything partially. Either he's going to uh, save you or either you, you're just not going to be saved. Yes, sir. You know, either we're going to accept his salvation or either we're just going to disregard it. We, uh, we, we're just going to uh, push him away or we, uh, he's going to, he's always holding his arms open to us. His arms are open, but it's up to us to accept him to run into those arms says that he's holding open for you. Amen. So we don't need to hold on to anything. We need to run to him freely. Amen. And, and just trust in him that he, he he has you. Amen. He will carry us. Amen. So on this uh, Shabbat, the Sabbath, let us all meditate on him. Really, the Sabbath day, the, sh the Shabbat, you're supposed to, he said, remember the Sabbath day, remember the Shabbat, and keep it holy. So this whole day is supposed to be sanctified and holy. Now we keep it, I, I love what the preacher was saying, we, we serve, worship him every day. You know, and I'm not bringing this up because he said that I will preach the same thing that he preached. You know, we worship him every day. We serve him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't want nobody to ever get that wrong. You know, we worship him on Sunday. We are here inside the house on Sunday. Amen, because we were brought up raising him on Sunday. We're not gonna get rid of the old ways you know, that were good. We get rid of the old negative things, you know, that, that, that old man that was tearing us down. Yeah. But any day that you come to worship him is a good day. Yes. Now, I don't care if it's a Saturday, uh, 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 Friday, you know, we, we, we on, on a, but on the Sabbath, that's the day that he said, keep it holy. Amen. So we don't just come here and worship him. You go home, you worship him. Amen. You keep everything is about him. You meditate on him. He wants a day of rest for him. Man. You know, you rest, you meditate on, oh, isn't he good? You, you talk to each other. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is a day where a lot of foolishness, that the, the Pharisees, sometimes you have to say some things. You know, the Pharisees, Sadducees, they, they are still here today. Man. They will have you doing some foolishness to where uh, you, you won't brush your teeth on a, on a Sabbath. You won't take a shower on the Sabbath. Right. You know, there's an old saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. Amen. You know, you won't, uh, got, and, and the, 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 the scriptures will let you know that he likes good smells. He likes good, he good savings. Amen. You know, he, he, he savored the good things. You know, he wants the sweet smelling things. Right. You know, he don't, he, he even, he, he, he said that, uh, he told Israel at one point, he said, your daughters are going to stink. Yes, you know, so he knows the difference. He knows the difference. You know, he said, because they're disobedient, disobedience, their haughtiness, they're going to, uh, I'm going to make them stink. You know, they're going to have a, they, they are going to stink. Uh, I like to say stink because I want you to understand the power in it. You know, we understand the power in stink. You don't just think you stink. You know, so I want you to understand. He said, I'm going to make you stink. You know, uh, they, 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 it's our history book anyway. I, he probably did say it that way. You know, he probably did yeah. say stink. Did, you know, you're you going to say, I'm going to make them stink. But we need to know these things, you know, because we, we can get caught up. He, he, you brush your teeth. You take a shower. You, we don't do extra things like don't go don't go to the beauty salon. You know, don't do none of that stuff. But uh, if, if, you, if you didn't get a chance to wash your clothes, you better put on some clean clothes. Wash you some clothes and put them on. Amen. You know, now, now I'm not saying, see, let me explain this. Sometimes you, uh, you just got to go into some things. That, in, in, in the days, those days when he was giving out the commandments, the, the way everything was more better. See, I said I wasn't going to, the Lord has moved me in this way because I, I, I wasn't planning to uh, teach or, or preach or anything. Sorry, now, see, the, uh, when the, the laws was given, you know, and a lot of people don't understand. You have to get understanding out of all that you can get understanding. They had more, they were doing things his way. Man. The women were at home, guiding the house. Paul said, let the women guide the house. The men would go out and work while it was day so that they can come home, you know. So while the, the, there was a part of the, the, the woman's work, the women's work were inside the house. They would cook, clean, do the laundry, all that, that, that different stuff that they don't want to do today. You know, all that stuff because of that uh, is a different mindset today. My God. You know, and society created, in America created, it. our second Egypt create, helped create the society to where the mindset, we've been conditioned not to think the way that 
the Most High, not to go by his laws, his commandments, and all that that he set for us. But what they were doing was, now they would have all this time because that was their work. That was the work. That was the, the work of the help me. You know, then the, the, the men had their work. So they were doing the work properly, doing it the right way. So on a Sabbath, it should have been done. You know, but see the convenience, what we think is convenient is really just, we have, our lives are so cluttered with things. You know, that uh, society created it to where the, the woman don't work inside the house. And the man, uh, we, we go to jobs that have us on week, weekends and different things, what we call weekends and, and, and everything's just all just mixed up and cluttered and uh, disorganized to when sometimes we'll wait I mean, well, you sometimes you can't do do anything but uh, do those some things. If you you may may have not had time to go get groceries. Amen. You think it's his will that uh, on the Sabbath that you don't have nothing in your house to eat? No. Do you think so? Man. You think you think it's his will that you didn't get to wash clothes all week so that uh, on, on this day uh, on the Sabbath you have to put on something dirty? Is that his will? That's not his will. You know, he was, they had more time. They were, it, it was, it was going against him because they would save it for that day. Or it might be a, a, what they could do on the, on the Friday, the, the uh, sixth day. I said, you know, I don't feel like doing it today. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do it. And that was their job to do that. That's like me saying, uh, I, I'm a teacher, but I'm not going to go to work today. I'm going to wait till uh, the Sabbath to go to work. You know, the, every, the, the, the work that I would do on, on, on the Friday is going to have to work, wait until the Sabbath because I don't feel like doing it that day. That's what they were doing. So he was saying, no, keep this day holy. Do your work these six days. This day you rest, you worship me, reverence me. Don't save all the other things and then say, oh, I can just do it on this day because I'm going to make my day cluttered instead of reverencing him. I'm going to take this day when everybody else at work and I'm, I'm going to take me a, a, a vacation day and, and I'm going to do all these things and I'm just going to wait until the Sabbath. You know, that, that, he, he was, that was making him angry because that's what they were doing. You know, they were waiting. They were putting off those days, uh, the, uh, the rest of the week, what they uh, could do and then leaving it for the Sabbath. Amen. So he, that's why he was getting upset and angry with them. But now we have the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees because of that. Anytime that you're unrighteous and you're not living right, then you have to make it up, make up some kind of way to make you feel better. Oh, I need to do some extra stuff. So now you can't brush your teeth. Now you can't. And I'm not just saying it. I'm telling you nothing. It's true. There's some Hebrews that don't brush their teeth today. They, they're waking up. They're not brushing their teeth. They're they might have worked all last night. They're not gonna uh, shower, you know. That uh, uh, some of there's some people, you know, uh, even Seventh Day Adventists and different ones. They will. Uh, I, I heard of one that has to set. He, he got his whole house set up on on a system ran by the computer that he said if he don't set it up by Friday, he can't turn on a light switch. You know, they just gonna go the whole week weekend the the whole Sabbath in the dark. Because he can't, it's too much work to do. Like I guess he needs to stay in the bed because that's work when you get out the bed. You know, you, I guess he, he he don't need to put any clothes on or put any shoes on or anything because that's work right there. We can find everything can be work if I let it be. Right. You know, some things is just natural. You just do it because it needs to be done. Yeah. Amen. Out of all that getting, get understanding. We have to have wisdom, not foolishness. We can be we can be foolish. You know, we can be foolish and, and allow ourselves to be trapped and to be enslaved, you know. And then there were some things that were only meant for Hebrews. It wasn't meant for anyone else. It was because of the covenant. Even the covenant was only for, the, there are certain parts of the covenant that was only for the Hebrews. You know, they because he had set them apart. You know, that wasn't for anybody else. I can't go put yokes on everybody else's neck. You know, that, uh, uh, I can't judge anybody else. That's his, uh, his servants. We are all his servants. I can't judge another man's servant. Amen. I can't put a yoke on somebody else's neck, especially if I'm not wearing it myself. Amen. You know, especially if I'm not adhering 
to his commandments or whatever it is I'm myself, but I want to judge someone else. Amen. But it's a lot of foolishness. You have to watch out for foolishness because if we don't, they will get you all mixed up and stop. We need to stop listening to everybody because uh, there, there's a lot of confused people that don't. There's a lot of preachers, a lot of teachers and that don't have a spirit and they definitely don't have no understanding. They don't have understanding. You know, this is like, I, when I tell everyone, you don't believe me, that's fine. Prove me wrong. Let a spirit, That's if you have a spirit, see what his spirit is saying inside of you. Is his spirit confirming the word that I'm saying? You know, is it confirming what I'm saying? Is it right? You know, or, or, or is it your spirit, your flesh? Because there's two, if you, there's a spirit of man. Is it your flesh that don't want to accept? You know, this, is it because his spirit is going to say, yes, that's it. That's it. You know, but then the flesh would be like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, uh, that's not, I, I need to fight against that, Man. you know, so we have to know, you, you have to even understand yourself and be honest with yourself, amen, let us all stand, Lord. Father God, we thank you for this day, we thank you for the word, Lord, we thank you for your spirit, we thank you for the prayer and these prayer warriors. Father, we thank you for our church, Lord, our church family that's here, Lord. We thank you for those who aren't able to make it, Lord, but are still part of this this family, part of this fold, Lord, over here, the, the flock, Lord, that you set in this house, Lord. Father, we thank you for them, Lord. We ask that you forgive us for all of our sins. Please wash us and purchase, have your way in our lives. Continue to guide us and direct us. Use us for your glory and anoint us for your service. And Father, we ask that you give us traveling grace. Give us safety, favor, Lord. Uh, keep us safe on the highways and the byways and the airways and the, the seaways, Lord, in, in all means of travel, Father. Lord, and do the same for our loved ones and our brothers and sisters in the gospel. Lord, we ask that you bind and rebuke every virus, every element that is coming against your, uh, your, your people, Lord, that they sent against us, Lord, that they made to come against us, Father. We ask that you bind and rebuke every virus and el every element that's in the land of the second Egypt, Lord, in, in our world today, Lord, and keep us safe from it, Lord, protect us, shield us, build up our immune systems, Lord, strengthen our DNA, Lord, that is in you, Lord, strengthen your blood that is inside of us, let us accept you, Abba Yah, Lord, you are so able, Lord, help us to know your ways and your will, Lord, give us great favor with all who we do business with and all what we do business with, Lord, and let your will be done in our lives, in our homes, in our family, in our church, Father, in our, in our hearts, Lord, in our schools, on our jobs, Lord, even as it is in heaven. In the name of God, who shall we pray and we ask? Amen.